Hi everybody! Welcome to our tutorial. Our Spotify. Our tutorial about alpha channels. As you now were calling them earlier. Can we talk about alphabet channels? Alphabet channels, sure. <laughs> we will talk about alphabet channels. We use we use alpha channels to make really nice gradated selections because we can use a gradient tool and to make a really nice smooth yeah, selection. Yeah. Yeah. So and and you can use them for making arts and crafts. <laughs> You can. We're going to make some arts and crafts right now. In fact, we're making this picture right here, which is you with your shovel. And we took that picture in the bedroom, in Daddy and Mommy's up, bedroom. Please. What? Scoot me up. Please. Scoot you up? Oh, you're sliding down? Sure, buddy. How's that? Put your legs on. Yeah, there you go. There you won't slide down now. Okay, so the way this is set up, just to show everybody, the idea here, before we start, is I want this background to be sharp where you are, because you're in focus, and we want the background to be blurred out so that we have more visual weight on you, all right? So we want to appear that there's a shorter depth of field. Okay, shorter depth of field, are you with me? All right, so let's, I'm going to turn off some of these layers, watch. I'm going to turn off the warming layer. I'm going to turn off the black and white layer. These are both adjustment layers, right? I got them down here under this create new fill or adjustment layer. That's where I got them both. All right. Now I'm going to turn off the vignette. I'm going to turn off you and your shadow and the crane. And just have everyone look at the background here, okay? We're going to select the background even, and we're going to bring up our channels. So, channels. Oop, they're over my other screen. Let's pop them over here. All right, so first of all, we can snap these guys back together again if we want to, because they're oftentimes put together. All right, so <clears throat> with our channels, let's do it this way, because this will be better uh, if we have them. I want to see my picture. There's your picture, kiddo. I want to see is that my cool? picture on my shirt. Oh, all right, there it is. Here. I'll show everybody. What's it say? Elamindi. What? Elamindi. Elamindi. Is you Elamindi? She All right, let's focus here. I already have. This is the alpha channel we're gonna draw. All right, that's the one I use. But we're gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna toss that away. All right, so the first thing we do is hit our new icon, right? It's the same icon for layers and paths, and, and in this case, channels. And when I click it, it'll say Alpha 1. Now, I want to see my picture behind there, so I'm also going to turn on my eyeball for my RGB channels. So my black mask will look red just so I can see the background. We can't have a picture with I can't see the dirt. The dirt's right down at the bottom. It's a little reddish right now because it's... It's, we have our Alpha 1 selected. And we could retitle this if we wanted to, but we'll just call it Alpha 1 so everybody can remember Alphabet Channel, except it's really Alpha Channel. And then I need my gradient tool, right? And because all masks run from black to white, black and white are our masking colors, where black masks something, a right? Tissue. Did you just pick your nose for the camera? I need a tissue. All right, here's a tissue right here. Okay, you you work on the nose, and I will. Um, <laughs> oh, this one might be one I have to stop. No. No. All right, we're gonna we're gonna muddle through it. You can throw that away. Thank you, bud. I hope your nose is, is all nice and clean now. Is it nice and clean? Is it? Okay. Um. All right, so I have the gradient tool, right? And I'm going to pick, I'm going to go from black to white. And I'm viewing this with small list so I can see both the title um, and the icon. So black to white. So black is our mask, right? Black is a masking color. So I want black to be down here because when I run my Gaussian blur filter, I don't want to blur the bottom out. I want that to be all nice and sharp. So I can start down here, and I can just drag up. And the longer I drag this, the smoother it's going to be. Watch. See if I drag it just a little bit, it's just a short gradient. But if, I'm going to hold down the shift also so it constrains it to straight. Now if I drag it nice and long, 
it's a very smooth thing, and I want some smooth. So I'll start down here, drag it up this way. All right, now, so it, I just have a gradient from black to white, and we should keep this on. So it should protect the bottom part, because the bottom part is black, so that means it's not selected when I load this as a selection. The black part will not be selected. The white part will be selected, especially where it's all white at the top. Actually, from here up, it's pretty much all white. All right. And look at that one more time. See, it's almost all white from there up. See that? Now, here's the trick. We go back to RGB because we want to actually blur out the RGB. We can even turn this off. We don't even need to see it anymore. All we need to do is convert this into a selection. All right, we can do that two ways. We can come down here, drag it to this. See our marching ants? Yeah. See the marching ants right there? At the top. Now it looks like we just have a rectangular marquee, but it's only because the marching ants can't show that nice gradation we have. Okay, the other way I can load this is just go to my select menu and load a selection. Where and are pick the alpha one. Ants? They're coming back. And they're not they're marching ants, not Martian ants. But Martian ants would be like big green ants, wouldn't they? That would be pretty cool. You want to do a story about Martian ants tonight? Yeah. For bed? Okay, Martian ants. <laughs> when we talk about alphabet channels, we'll also do talk about Martian ants. Martian ants. Okay, so the trick is I can load it two ways. All right? <laughs> Click on it here and drag it down to the first icon, which is a little selection icon to make marching ants. Or I can come to my select menu and do load selection. Where are the marching Now here's the cool part, Quinn. Here's all the marbles. So now I can go to the filter menu and do Gaussian blur and crank this. I'm going to crank it up really high for everybody at home. Hey, it's foggy. It is foggy. Look at that. That's a little too foggy, isn't it? That would be some crazy lens I'm using to make it look fairly natural. That's foggy. Yeah, well, here's crazy fog. Spooky. You want to do crazy fog? No. Okay, let's just do short depth of field. Okay, now here's the beauty of this. Let me hide those marching ants. If I look closely... Where are the marching ants? I, I hid them. I did Command D. I want to see the marching ants. Or I didn't. I did Command H to hide them. Well, they're also on the edge. Oops, no, I did Command D to deselect them. I, I didn't even know what I did. I did Command D and I deselected the marching ants. But look, look. This is all blurry up here. And as it comes down... It gets sharper and sharper and sharper to where you are standing in the mud. I'll turn the crane back on. The crane was blurred too because the crane is supposed to look like it's in the background. And now I'll turn everything else on and it will be done. Look at that. So now the background's nice and soft. And now we're done? We are done! Yay! <laughs> Yay, hip hip hooray, so there's everything you need, need to know about Martian ants and alphabet channels.